How's it going, fellow Detroit Red Wings fans? It's been a couple weeks. I won't give too much away, but we've been working on something for you guys, and well, you'll have to wait until late May or early June to find out. Now is the biggest time of the year. The regular season is wrapping up, and now it's playoff time. Quickly, we need to give some credit to our three prospects playing for the University of Denver who took home the NCAA championship this past weekend, Antti Tuomisto, Shai Boom, and Carter Mazur all of which had big impacts on the team and brought down the monster University of Michigan that had a record number of draft selections in the semifinals and then went on to beat Minnesota State for the NCAA championship. But this video is about what's going on in Sweden, more specifically what a single defenseman has done and is doing in the playoffs for Frölunda. So it's not surprising that it seems Eisenman has hit another home run on his latest first round selection. A lot of people heavily criticized the selection, much like when Sider was drafted, but after one season, he seems to be proving himself to be one of the top dogs coming out of this draft. After all, on Craig Button's top prospect list, he was placed in third, much like Lucas Raymond the year before him, behind only Owen Power and Jake Sanderson well ahead of most of the players selected around him in the 2021 NHL Draft, and for good reason. Button had this to say about Evanson. He's got the skating, and he's got the length. That ease of play that's reminiscent of Victor Hedman. But not the same level of offense, that's how I would describe Edvinson. Edvinson has been a playmaking machine, recording 2 goals, 17 assists for 19 points in 44 games played, not including what he's done in the playoffs so far, and in the U20 World Tournament. And while those aren't Moritz Sider numbers, Sider was a special prospect and player. Also, Edvinson is a year younger and could very well challenge Sider's U20 season if he stays in the SHL next year. The other good thing to report about his play is his plus minus of plus 13, which is tied for first on the team. As a 19 year old playing big minutes, which by the way almost never happens, especially for defensemen in the SHL, that is a very good sign. Edvinson has made it clear that he is Frolunda's top defender, at least until he leaves for North America. So let's talk about the playoffs, because we all know certain players can show up or just die out when the playoffs start. Think of like Bertuzzi and Sider, who have been known to show up when their team is in the playoffs, versus a player like Matthews, who is a great player, but just hasn't found the right juice to get himself going in the playoffs. While I'm happy to report so far, Edmondson is a part of the first group. Now it's a small sample size, but in the first round he was heavily used and is at around half a point per game in the couple games he played. Frolunda chose to have him sit and heal a minor injury rather than possibly worsening it once it seemed like they were going to win the series. He should be ready for the second round when his Frolunda team faces off against Wallstead's Lulia team in the semifinals. If him, Soderblom and Niederbach are able to win the series, then they will face off against either Johansson and his Fargisted team, or Wallander and his Rogla BK team. Either way, it's a very likely chance we will see a Red Wings prospect, or three, win the SHL championship. Just like University of Denver did this past weekend. We will have more videos coming out about the other prospects in these playoffs and about the University of Denver team, especially Carter Mazur, Antti Tuomisto, and Elmer Soderblom, all were big pieces in either winning a championship or getting their team farther into the playoffs. But for now, we want to hear your thoughts on Edmondson and his Frölunda team. How far do you think they are going to go? Let us know down below. Red Wing Nation was designed to be a community of Red Wings fans that could come together and talk about all things Red Wings. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like, that way we make more content that you like. And lastly, if you are a Red Wings fan, if you are a hockey fan, if you are just a great person, make sure you comment and subscribe and join lots of other great fans of this team and sports. And until next time, lights out in the red light district.